Thanks, Dan. Whether you're 22 years old or 52, you got to know entering the dating scene, a lot has changed. And we're not just talking about new dating apps. In case you didn't know, the language of dating also changes constantly. Jane Burnett is here with some of the latest lingo young people are using to describe what's happening in their love lives. Yeah, there are a lot of new terms out there, and I'm sure that you know some of them, Bill, but basically I'm here to kind of share the new don't ones. Don't be too sure, here, I probably few classics. don't. <laughs> okay, so one of them is ghosting, which is a classic for sure. So basically it's when you're talking to someone and things are going well, and all of a sudden they stop texting you back, you don't hear anything. Um, another one is cuffing season. So basically that's when it gets colder in the winter and the fall, you kind of want to start finding a partner. So people kind of ramp up their game. Another is breadcrumbing. And so that's kind of when you leave little hints that maybe you're interested, but you keep that person on your roster just in the back burner. So again, to be honest with you, like even in my research, I came across some that I've never even heard of. Like what? It's exoskeletoning. So it's basically when your current partner is the ex keeps reaching out to you. So maybe they're jealous about something and you kind of hear from them and you don't want to, of course. And then the last one that I'd like to talk about is just eclipsing. So it's basically when you have your set hobby, something that you really love to do, and then your new partner is like suddenly all about it. So they sign up to do those things with you. Let me just understand, Jane, are millennials just the most bored generation <laughs> ever? That, that, like, are they making stuff up? There are already words out there. Why this need to put something to it? Is it is it kind of a way of avoiding real relationships? I don't think so. I mean, I think that there's always a case for some people who are more casual about their dating lives and, you know, maybe they're into dating a bunch of people and seeing what works for them. But again, I just think it's generational. Things change with the time. Thanks, Jane. Thanks.